Hi, today I'm going to help you connect your QuickBooks Online to your PayPal account. Now, why would you want to do this? If you're paying for things using PayPal, maybe not such a big deal because as the transactions from your purchases enter the bank account, you can then just go in and edit them and add them to the right expense code and you're sorted. But if you're starting to make sales or you're making sales using PayPal, this could be quite helpful for you. So all you really need to do is to connect your account to your QuickBooks Online so that it appears in there as a bank account. By enabling this, you can give your customers the option to use PayPal to pay their bill when you send them the invoice and you get paid quicker as a consequence because they can just click on the PayPal button and make the payment and then because it's automatically entering your QuickBooks Online account as I said earlier you don't have to enter these manually so how do we do it well there are three ways to actually set this up I'm going to quickly show you how you can enter the other two and then the th lastly I'm going to show you the simplest way that I recommend you use so firstly you can go directly to the Intuit App Store and if you look it's basically appcenter.intuit.com and over here just double check that you're in the right country that relates to you so as you can see you can if you're US if you're Australian Canadian and so on I'm actually logged into QuickBooks so it's basically showing hi there so then you pick the right one and it takes you straight here and at the moment at the time of doing this recording QuickBooks is actively pushing the idea of connecting your PayPal. So you'll see on the screens, the option is already there. But if at a later date, this doesn't come up for you and there's another promotion that they're doing, you just come down and you can search for it manually or there's a search option up here where you can view all the apps and find PayPal, browse by category, and then find it that way. So once we've done that, we're in it. So yes, register now and it will take you to this screen where you can click learn more you'll see as the screen is coming up over here it shows your apps this is because I'm already logged in so it's actually working within my QuickBooks online ecosystem and then what it does it takes me to the page that I showed you originally and you click on OK let's do it and literally you follow the instructions so basically you give permission I'm not going to do it this way because I want to show it to you the other way I don't I don't want to accept it twice so you give permission and pretty much you follow the instructions which will be the same as I'll show you in a minute we're just coming at it from a different screen the second way to access the PayPal app is from within your screen when you're logged in depending on what type of QuickBooks online subscription you have will change what you see when you first open your accounts now because this is a pro advisor account there's a lot more stuff but down here you'll see it says apps and when you click on there it takes you to an apps selection now this will take you to a screen that shows the apps that are recommended for your company and you will see that PayPal and irrespective of what subscription you have PayPal is usually quite prominent in the list of, of software that you can have and again you just choose it and it takes you again to the accept payments with PayPal screen and that's the two ways so you'll see as well that the screen before was similar but not the same as the screen where you picked on the first option this is a URL so it takes you to a screen that any outsider can see whereas the second screen I took you to is from within QuickBooks okay but the simplest way all you do is you log into your QuickBooks online account and you go to your dashboard your main screen your home screen and if you scroll to under where the bank accounts are you will see where it says connect accounts click connect accounts because PayPal will effectively be treated like a bank account this then takes you into your connect account screen you can type in the URL for PayPal but as you can see again it's quite prominent so you choose the PayPal box and you type in your email address for your PayPal account so if I can um, remember which one I set up and then sign in 
and you'll see it's trying to connect and there it is okay now this is a um a dummy account there aren't any transactions i've just set it up so that i'd have something to log into and all you do is you enter the account type now here it's got a section of accounts there isn't a paypal one there so you can click add new in just the same way that you would add a bank account if you were setting it up under transactions and if you're not sure what I mean under transactions you could have gone to chart of account yeah, so all you can do is literally go to new and you want cash at bank and in hand pick current you can you can put cash on hand um, treat PayPal just like your bank account and put in your PayPal so PayPal and that's that and then as of when and save and close but we don't want that so let's go back to here exactly the same thing cash in hand or cash at bank and in hand PayPal we don't have a number let's be really efficient PayPal transactions as of that date and save and close yeah now I have no transactions in there to to do at the moment it's just really to show you and you click connect as you can see it's working in the background I don't know if you can see that because the screen is grayed out so it says this may take a few minutes it's sorting through your transactions and that is basically it and as you can see PayPal now shows up in your list of bank accounts and that's it folks you're ready to go